Hey guys, Sai is here back with another interesting and most important updated video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix CTS profile match or meets device integrity, uh, whatever we call. Now you are guys saying, Hey Sai, why are you repeating this video? You already made video on this topic, right? Uh, but if you note that uh, I used on my previous video, uh, the file which I used that is uh, uh, play integrity fix module version 13.8. But that module, I mean that version of module is banned by Google. And now the latest module is released, which is play integrity fix module version 14.0. And if you flash this module directly on rooted device, of course, we need a root device, right? Um, the device is rooted with Magisk or kernel issue, no matter, okay. But if you flash that 14, I mean version 14.0 module directly, that is not working for you. You need to do some changes. You need to uh, edit the .json file after flashing this latest module. So in this video, I will show you how to do this, uh, how to fix this device integrity, how to edit that .json file. And uh, that's it. Watch the video till the end. Don't miss any steps. And if you are new on this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Also join our telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. So without any wasting of time, let's begin. Okay, let's start the process, but note that your device is rooted because this method is working on rooted device. Okay, uh, my device is rooted with kernel SU, but if you are using a magisk, that method is same, just you need to avoid one file. What that file? I will tell you. Okay. So as we can see here, it is the three files is here, which is first is pif.json file. And the next file is play integrity fix version 14.0. And the third file is Zygisk on kernel SU. So if you are a, a Magisk user, then avoid that Zygisk on kernel SU file. Okay. Just avoid that file. And uh, if you are Magisk user, of course, you need to enable the Zygisk option on Magisk. Okay. So here it is. I am a kernel SU user. So I am going to install that Zygisk on kernel SU module first. So this is the first step. Install this module. Okay. After successfully installing, don't reboot device. Just go back. So here it is. I install this module. Go back and again click on install. And now install this play integrity fix version 14.0 module. Okay. As we can see here it is. I fix, I install it. Okay. Now click on reboot system. Okay. So here it is. The file is both files are installed successfully. Now click on, now I clicked on reboot. So the phone is started. Okay. Success reboot successfully. Now next step is. So now talking about the next step. So. Uh, we need to download one more APK that is root browser. Download this file from Play Store and give the root permission. I mean, grant the root permission to this APK. Okay. After that, open this APK, which is root browser. Okay. Then go on root directory. So I will show you how to do that. As we can see here, it is I already present on root directory. But when you tab on left at corner, uh, here it is the uh, three lines is present. So click on here and click on this root directory. Okay. Now go on data folder after that go on adb folder okay here it is up already here it is a pif.json file is present but we need to delete this file uh, this is an empty file you can edit this file or you can delete this file so better if you delete this file okay after deleting this file now go on internal storage and this uh, pif.json which i show you to download this file this copy this file and paste on that directory where we delete that pre default json dot file okay so here it is that is on data then adb then here it is pif dot json file after paste here just refresh it and here it is the file is successfully we are pasted here okay now talking about next step um, now clear the data of play store because in some conditions in some situations um, that previous data is not clear. So that's why it shows device is not certified. Okay. So clear the data of play store. So I already cleared now talking about go on settings, then apps and click on see all apps and search the Google play services. Also clear the data of Google play services. Here it is that Google play services APK, uh, just click on clear the data. Okay. So here it is the all steps are completed. Now just reboot 
device once so i'm going to reboot device so here it is click on reboot okay device is started successfully make sure that your device is connected with internet or wi-fi whatever now open the kernel su and if you go on module section then you can see the play integrity fix module and zygiscon kernel su this both modules are installed successfully already okay now i am going to open play store and if we go on settings play store settings and check about section so here it is about section there is no okay it's not appearing appearing that device certification is not shows right so wait some time and in this time let's check this uh, play integrity so as we can see device integrity is successfully passed so one problem is solved successfully i mean <laughs> problem is totally solved let's i will show you about device certification so okay as we can see play protect certification is also passed so this is the method to pass device integrity to fix device is not certified so with the help of this method you are able to fix this issue right now talking about what is this pif.json file right so this is a custom device certification file so you can edit this file uh, simply open it through editor and you can edit according to your device okay as we can see here it is product device manufacturer brand model etc so edit it according to your device or you can ignore it you can simply uh, use this pre default made file okay so this file uh, for making steps easy i use directly this file my device is not asus my device is realme xt but i use this file and my device integrity is passed so for making steps easy you can use directly this file okay okay this is the process this is the method if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care